We're getting signals from MRO. Tango Delta. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars, ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. Mars is one of the most exciting planets we want to explore. It's been the inspiration for space exploration since its first mission, Mariner 4, was launched in 1965. Mars remains the ultimate goal for space exploration, and the opportunity to visit the Red Planet is one that shouldn't be missed. Mars is the planet that inspired science fiction and dreams. It's the main reason we wanted to become engineers and astronauts. We've come a long way from the first images from Mars, a fuzzy sphere of white and blue. Hello, and welcome back to our channel, Mars Discovery. Today, we are going to discover how NASA's Perseverance rover found water on Mars. Before we continue, take a moment to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. And with that, let's get into it. The latest robotics explorer to land on Mars as part of NASA's ongoing Mars 2020 missions is a rover called Perseverance. The Perseverance rover was a car-sized Mars rover designed to be a science observatory. But it also served as a testbed for the agency, paving the way for future Mars missions with its daring maneuvers on the Red Planet. NASA's Perseverance rover was a project to design, build, and test a rover for exploring Mars. This rover was inspired by NASA's Sojourner rover, which explored the surface of Mars in 1997. The design for the Perseverance rover was intended to be more versatile than the Sojourner rover, which was optimized for digging and carrying scientific instruments. The Perseverance rover was designed to traverse rugged Martian terrain, carry out experiments, and communicate with Earth. On a mission to Mars, scientists wanted to test the ability of robots to adapt and overcome obstacles. So they designed a mission that put those robots through their paces. The Perseverance rover, or PR2, was built to investigate the ability of robots to adapt to the environment and continue to function when faced with obstacles. First, the mission tested the adaptability of the PR2 robot by sending it through a series of courses on Mars. The Perseverance rover landed inside the red planet's Yezero crater on the 18th of February 2021, tasked with searching for signs of ancient Mars life and collecting dozens of samples for future return to Earth. For years, scientists have speculated about the presence of water on Mars. Recently, evidence for this has been discovered in the form of recurring slope Linne RSL, dark streaks that appear on steep Martian slopes. RSLs are most commonly observed in the planet's northern hemisphere, where they are thought to be the result of flowing water. However, these intriguing features are also present in the southern hemisphere, indicating that they are not unique to the planet's northern hemisphere. Some of the earliest images from NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter MRO, spacecraft show water on the surface of the red planet. The photos were taken during the spacecraft's first year in orbit around Mars in 2006. The pictures show water ice, crumbs, and patches on the surface of Mars. The presence of water on Mars is exciting because it may indicate that the planet has the potential to support life. Scientists have long speculated about the possibility of life on Mars. In 2015, NASA's Curiosity rover discovered evidence that the red planet could have once been favorable for microbial life, including conditions suitable for the chlorine and bromine-based compounds required for many forms of life. Perhaps the most exciting discovery made by Curiosity was the detection of salts on the Martian surface. This salt evidence could potentially indicate the presence of liquid water on Mars in the past, evidence that would be vital for any future human missions on the planet. Since the Curiosity rover landed on Mars in 2012, NASA's Opportunity rover has explored the red planet's surface. And like other surface features on Mars, the Endurance crater is dotted with dark streaks or channels that seem to be formed by flowing water. Scientists aren't 100% sure how these dark streaks form, but they think they were carved by flows of water that carved out the Endurance crater over millions of years. The streaks appear dark because they are made of a material called hematite, which is found in the regions of Mars that contain a lot of water. On Mars, scientists have discovered evidence of water flowing on the surface of the planet at some point in the past. 
The discovery was made using NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter MRO, a spacecraft that orbits the planet and collects a wealth of data about its atmospheric composition, temperature, and wind speeds. The orbiter's instruments also detected a strong magnetic field near the site where the water was detected. This indicates that the water may be metal-rich, which is a promising sign for life. Astronomers have found water on Mars in a discovery that could change our understanding of the red planet forever. For the first time, they have spotted water chemically bound to salt on the surface of Mars. In a region known as Kanak remains in the Eridania region. This water is located near what is thought to be an ancient shoreline of the planet billions of years ago and could provide the first evidence of liquid water on Mars in billions of years. The finding was made possible by the Perseverance rover, which has been exploring the surface of Mars for the last several months and was the first robot on the surface of Mars to find water. Salt is incredibly soluble, so any moisture at all would dissolve it. Ellen Leesk, a postdoctoral scholar at Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory and lead author of the study, said in a statement, As such, these deposits must have formed during the evaporation of the last large-scale water on the planet. While images of Mars revealed the shapes of valleys carved out across its surface were indicative of water that flowed on the red planet, the discovery of the salt deposits was the first mineral evidence that confirmed the presence of liquid water. NASA's Perseverance rover is currently roaming on Mars, collecting samples for a future mission to Earth that could unlock the mystery of life on the red planet. This offers us new targets for future missions to Mars, Leesk said. Some of these deposits are on terrain that's a billion years younger than the ground the Perseverance rover is rolling across right now, really extending our idea of when water last flowed across the Martian surface. Exploring new terrain and enduring dust storms The rover has collected critical data during its long journey that will help scientists learn more about the red planet's climate and geology. One of the rover's biggest accomplishments was discovering the first ever geologic evidence of liquid water on Mars. This finding is significant because it could mean that life, or at least the chemical precursors for life, is more common on Mars than previously thought. The rover is now ready to begin its first ever field campaign on the Red Planet, a series of science investigations designed to help scientists understand how the different layers of the planet formed and evolved. So with that, our video has come to an end. What do you guys think about it? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Mars Discovery, and hit the bell icon for more intriguing content. Until then, goodbye.